Hello everyone, this is Teacher Regil. This video addresses the competency Factor Quadratic Trinomials. First, let's talk about factoring perfect square trinomials. Let us recall that, for example, if we have a binomial x minus 2 squared, this means we are going to multiply x minus 2 by itself. And using the FOIL method, we can get the product. F, product of the first terms, x and x, that's x squared. O, product of the outer terms, x and negative 2, that's negative 2x. I, product of the inner terms, negative 2 and x, that's negative 2x. L, product of the last terms, negative 2 and negative 2, that's positive 4. Now, we can combine negative 2x and negative 2x, so we have x squared minus 4x plus 4 as our product. And this product is what we call a perfect square trinomial. So this means a perfect square trinomial comes from the square of a binomial. Suppose we have many quadratic trinomials. How could you identify which ones are perfect square trinomials? So these are the tests that we are going to perform. The first term should be a perfect square. In this case, x squared is a perfect square. Then, the third term or the last term should also be a perfect square. In this case, 4 is a perfect square. And, the middle term should be twice the square root of first term times square root of third term. So in this case, square root of x squared is x, square root of 4 is 2, x times 2 is 2x, then double it, it becomes 4x. By the way, whether our sign here is positive or negative, our trinomial is still a perfect square trinomial. So therefore, if we are asked to find the factors of a perfect square trinomial, we are going to remember that it comes from the square of a binomial. We are going to find the square root of the first term x squared, which is x. Use the sign of the middle term, minus, then get the square root of the last term, 4, which is 2, then square it. So, let's do some examples. Factor the following perfect square trinomials. Number 1, x squared minus 6x plus 9. Square root of x squared is x. Sign of the middle term, minus. Square root of 9 is 3. So we have the quantity x minus 3 squared or the quantity x minus 3 times the quantity x minus 3. These are the factors. Number 2, 4m squared plus 20m plus 25. Square root of 4m squared is 2m. Sign of the middle term plus square root of 25 is 5. Or the quantity 2m plus 5 times the quantity 2m plus 5. These are the factors. Number 3, 36x squared minus 12xy plus y squared. Square root of 36x squared is 6x. Sine of the middle term minus square root of y squared is y. So we have the quantity 6x minus y squared or the quantity 6x minus y times the quantity 6x minus y. 
these are the factors. Now let's talk about factoring quadratic trinomials of the form ax squared plus bx plus c where a is equal to 1. Okay, meaning to say the coefficient of x squared is just 1. And these are not perfect square trinomials anymore. So let's factor x squared plus 8x plus 15. So first, we are going to factor the first term, x squared. Factors of x squared, x and x. Then, factor the last term, 15. Okay? But we are going to choose factors whose sum equals the coefficient of the middle term. So the coefficient of the middle term is a. So I have here factors of 15. Okay? Which pair gives us the sum of a? So it's 3 and 5. So that means plus 3 plus 5. These are the factors. The quantity x plus 3 times the quantity x plus 5. Example number 5. Factor x squared minus 7x minus 18. First, we are going to factor the first term. Factors of x squared are x and x. Then, factor the last term, negative 18. But we are going to choose factors whose sum equals the coefficient of the middle term. Okay, the coefficient of the middle term is negative 7. Then I have here factors of negative 18. So which of these factors will give us the sum of negative 7? Okay, it's 2 and negative 9. So therefore, we have these factors. The quantity x minus 9 times the quantity x plus 2. Example number 6. Factor x squared plus 10x minus 24. Again, first step, factor the first term. Factors of x squared are x and x. Then, factor the last term, negative 24. But we are going to choose factors whose sum equals the coefficient of the middle term. So the coefficient of the middle term here is 10. Then I have here factors of negative 24. So which pair gives us the sum of 10? So it's negative 2 and 12. So these are the factors. The quantity x minus 2 times the quantity x plus 12. Now, let's factor quadratic trinomials of the form ax squared plus bx plus c, but this time a is not equal to 1, so it's another number. So here, okay, example number 7, our a here is 2. So we are going to factor 2x squared plus 11x plus 5. Okay, first step, we are going to factor the first term. Okay, factors of 2x squared are 2x and x. Then, we are also going to factor the last term. But here, we are going to use the guess and check method. Meaning to say, first, we are going to, to guess factors of 5. And then we are going to check to make sure that the sum of the inner and outer products equals the middle term. Now, let's guess first. Okay, factors of 5 are 1 and 5. Now, let's check. Inner product, so 1 times x. That's x. Outer product, 2x and 5. That's 10x. Now, we are going to add x plus 10x. That's 11x. So, meaning to say, the quantity 2x plus 1 times the quantity x plus 5 are correct factors. 
Example number 8. Factor 3x squared plus 5x minus 12. First, we are going to factor the first term, 3x squared. So, factors of 3x squared are 3x and x. Then, factor the last term, negative 12. But here again, we will use the guess and check method. Okay, first, we are going to guess the factors of negative 12. So, let's guess positive 2 and negative 6. Now, we will check. Okay, inner product, 2 times x. That's 2x. Outer product, 3x and negative 6. That's negative 18x. We are going to add. It's not equal to 5x. So these are wrong factors. Okay, we will guess again. Okay, we will guess factors of negative 12. Okay, minus 4 and plus 3. Now let's check inner product negative 4 and x that's negative 4x okay 3x and 3 we have 9x then negative 4x plus 9x that's 5x so meaning to say the quantity 3x minus 4 times the quantity x plus 3 are correct factors. I prepared here four items for you to work on. You can pause the video and try factoring these four items. If you are done, I can now show you the answer. For item number one, the factors are the quantity x minus 15 times the quantity x plus 3. Item number two, the factors are the quantity 2x minus 9 squared or the quantity 2x minus 9 times the quantity 2x minus 9. Item number three, the factors are the quantity x plus 11 times the quantity x plus 4. And item number four, the factors are 5x plus 2 times the quantity x minus 4. Did you get all the items right? I hope you did. Thanks for watching guys. This is teacher Reggio. Keep safe.